Smile and learn. Today, we're going to learn about viruses. Have you ever had the flu? Achoo. Do you know why we catch the flu? Achoo. It's probably because of a virus. Do you know what viruses are? We'll tell you all about them. What are viruses? Viruses are microorganisms. This means they are invisible in plain sight. To be able to see them, we need a microscope. Did you know that viruses are not living organisms? This is because, unlike cells, viruses cannot carry out the vital function of reproduction by themselves. To be able to carry out the vital function of reproduction, viruses need a host, that is to say, a living being, in which to live. When they find one, the host will be infected by the virus. From this point forward, the virus will be able to replicate its genetic material in the host cells and copy itself many times to infect the entire organism. That's why sometimes viruses are known as infectious agents. Viruses structure. Viruses are simple organisms found almost anywhere. Their main structure consists of an exterior shell called capsid and genetic material found inside the virus. The capsid is usually made of protein. The genetic material, which can be either DNA or RNA, contains necessary information to elaborate and form the complete structure of the virus. Some viruses may have an additional outer wrapping cover. How do viruses spread? Viruses can spread through different vectors like animals, water, air, food, or objects. A vector is the carrier of a virus that can infect other organisms. A mosquito bite, for example, can cause a virus to spread to another animal. Every time we cough, viruses spread out in the air. They are easily transmitted and infect living beings in the environment. That's why we should cough into our upper sleeve or elbow, not our hand, to avoid infection by contact. Having good hygiene habits like washing our hands regularly can prevent contact transmission with contaminated objects or food. Vaccines. As we mentioned before, some viruses cause diseases like the flu. Luckily, our immune system is there to protect us against viruses. As a prevention measure, we also have vaccines. Vaccines prepare our immune system, teaching it how to recognize a virus. It's like meeting someone for the first time. He or she will not be a stranger anymore. Next time you see them, you'll know who they are. The same thing happens with vaccines and our immune system. Vaccines introduce our immune system to the virus. And if at some point this virus enters our body, the immune system will remember which one it is and will react. This is how we won't get sick. We also have medicines that can relieve the symptoms, but are not able to cure the viral infection. Diseases Some diseases caused by a virus are influenza, common colds, or certain cases of gastroenteritis. There is no vaccine yet for certain viruses. That's why they can be mortal. To tackle this problem, scientists all over the world work hard to find vaccines that will save millions of lives in the future. Other diseases caused by a virus attenuate their effect the moment we get infected, but thanks to vaccines, they are not lethal. These diseases are measles, rubella, or mumps. However, high-risk populations like children, asthma patients, or elderly people should be vaccinated every year. Did you like the video? We have so many more! Subscribe by clicking on the seal. Ah, and if you want to keep watching more videos, click on the boxes.